You're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. You're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Man, Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. I don't think I've slept this well in ages. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? One of his boys stopped in and said you had won the King's favor. You've done right by this town and deserve a pass. Here you go. See ya! Welcome back, buddy. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. You're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Hey. for all your shopping needs.
Don't need this right now. Let's stop. That hurt me just watching it. That's it, keep moving. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Don't you dawdle, little doggy. Mr. House isn't someone you want to go about snubbing. He'll be waiting. You can see the street. Oh, those last five shots were a bad idea. Don't be carrying any guns into the casino. Looking to lose a few caps, huh? My buddy Just the place. Care Seats are being off the trail. Now that the Vegas Vegas leader is, like is dead. Else. Hey, baby. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you. I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure. They say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Take a look at these beauties. There's uh -huh. more of this waiting for you inside. I have half a mind to throw you, you know, on a cell and let you Check sweat my it moves, honey. Huh. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. Would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Dancing makes me sweat. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Somewhere. So fucked up, I can't feel my legs. The fiends are running for their Almost lives. Almost out of caps. That'll show everyone. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help? Feel free to head to our club, Brimstone, or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. Sorry, we don't have any hotel rooms available right now, but feel free to gamble or help yourself to our other services. I sure do. 
But loose lips <laughs> sink ships. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. I'm not sure what's going on at Lucky 38. That place is weird. Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. Gossip is one thing. Dirt on the family is something else totally. I've heard some pretty shady rumors about the Ultralux. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs, that place is just plain creepy. Maybe it's the masks. It's hard to believe that not too long ago, most of the families on the Strip were little more than warring tribes. The Omeritas even had a big war with the Khans once upon a time. Bye. Business is good. All the family's got money. Of course, Gamora is where the action is. Caravan of two now. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Gamora is always open for business. Fuck are you looking at? I'm gonna clip your sorry ass. I tell you, not at home is gonna have have his day. Not at home. Must be cozy up there in the. Damn, you're looking tasty. Hey there, can I get you a drink? Maybe a party favor? Sorry, it's not my business to get involved. Here you Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires, all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? Oh, confident. I like that. So, 
What do you want to do with what you've got? Oh my, aren't you something else? I guess you'll have to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house, honey. Follow me, hun. Hot damn, do I love this place. Come here, baby. I'm all yours. Are you ready to be all mine? All right, honey. What do you want to know? Yes. It's your paradise on this desolate earth, hun. Your troubles are gone, your pain forgotten, and your dreams come true. Everyone wants a piece of their own personal heaven, so they come here for hours. And ours, hun. <laughs> Military men, NCR ranchers, wandering travelers. They're all the same without their clothes on. What they want, the Omeritas provide. You best hold your tongue, friend. Or someone here will take care of it for good. All right, honey. What do you want to know? Yes. I... I didn't think it showed. <laughs> I guess that it's worse than I thought. I'm... I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. I'm afraid I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. <laughs> I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. If he's alive, he's long gone. The Omertas want him dead now. If you meet him anywhere, I'd do anything to get him back and escape this hell. Although I'm not keeping my hopes up. Hun, nobody's given me a free thing before. What's it going to be for you? Caps? Sex? Straps? What? What? Are you serious? Well, I'm not complaining, hun. Thanks so much for your help. Come here, baby. I'm all yours. Are you ready to be all mine? All right. What do you want to know? They run the place as a center for all their dirty scams and extortions. Gambling, sex, drugs. They'll use whatever works to exploit your weaknesses. Hooker, customer, it doesn't matter. Everyone here is a pawn to the Omertas. Playing and dying by their rules. Nero's the pack leader, and Big Saul's his right hand. What Nero wants, Big Saul does. Then there's... Kachino. He's a filthy monster. 
I've been with perverted men, but Kachino's done things to me that even other Omertas would also want to kill him if they knew what he does. He's broken so many of their rules that I don't know how he still breathes. Yes? Come here, baby. I'm all... Okay. Lay down and I'll take care of you. Come here, baby. I'm all... Our guys put the monorail back to work. Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. A hundred caps, no kissing, no rough stuff. See? Well now, that's unusual. Normally no one cares enough to ask. To be honest, I don't rightly know. My mama was from around these parts. I can remember her face, but not her name. More than I can remember of my daddy, I guess. We lived in Westside before the Omertas bought me. As bad as it can be some days in here, it's better than living in that dump. Don't be a stranger. Our guys put the monorail back Hot to work. Hot damn do I the love this The fiends are place. running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. What the fuck are you looking at? You're a model citizen, thank you. Amora is always open for business. I'm glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. Freeside smells like shit.
good day. Pleasure. Please, do not stand in the fountain. Don't know about you, but this beats herding Brahmin back in California. What is it? Howdy. Something I can help you with? Sure do. Came from the hub on account of the Thaler Act. Farming's decent work, but the whole thing's a bum deal. Something the politicians back in Shady Sands came up with. They pay us to move here and farm the land. They even protect the fields. Bad soil and ration water. It's to be expected around here. But the rationing's off. Worst part is NCR won't admit it. Pretty hard to meet their crop quotas with 20% less water than we're supposed to be getting. Not that OSI cares about any of this. They're part of the deal, the Thaler Act. We work the fields while they protect the crops and the water. A lot of folks come to New Vegas and lose everything in free side of the Strip. They get hungry, desperate, and try to take our hard work. Much as I sympathize, their theft would put me in a bad spot. I got a crop quota to meet. Everything I can. Farmers out here don't have the luxury of being picky. I get by mostly on maize and tobacco. Can do. Yes. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. Tech stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Sure do. Adios. What is it? The Office of Science and Industry has carefully calculated the amount of water needed for these crops. The whole thing is handled by computer. Besides, most of these crops look fine to me. If the farmers can't handle the job, they shouldn't have signed up in the first place. If there really is a problem, they can take it up with Lieutenant Boyd at McCarran. Farming isn't my department. What is it? Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof even. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to Westside to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people on Westside grow crops or something. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just do my job. They're based out of the old fort in Freeside. They supposedly helped the NCR out at some point, but they go their own way now. They know stuff about tech and medicine and usually help out anybody who asks. Can't say I know any more than that. Haven't seen him. Serves him right if the NCR declares a Maywall. He's a glory hound. 
always looking for a way to get promoted to Ranger. Thinks he's too good to be a regular trooper like the rest of us. Yeah. Gary. That sweetie sure is something. Welcome to Casa Madrid, cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something, but I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the Casa went full service. Like who? Alright. Cat. Welcome to the Casa Madrid. If you got an itch need scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. Three flavors to choose from. Sweetie, Maud, and Jimmy. Sweetie's the house favorite for reasons that should be obvious. Maude is what you might call the discount rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweetie, or just like some old. Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. I look after the only reasons anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marco does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. We don't talk about that. Next topic. You know where to find me. Tom Anderson, can I help you? I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse, and I help the locals in Westside grow crops. Unlike the NCR, the followers don't expect anything back. The soil and the hot, dry environment don't make it easy. But we get by all right. We've even got our own food store, the West Side Co-op, complete with basic refrigeration. The Co-op is comprised of West Side locals and read by Clayton Entenine. They produce all of their own food and share the profits of the Co-op. I don't go looking for fights with them, but they don't have the best interests of people in mind. Certainly not locals. The bottom line for NCR is productivity and growth. Politicians back in Shady Sands are completely detached from the people actually living here. No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. Fair enough. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. If the NCR thinks White was killed by, say, members from the Scorpions gang, it may be enough for them to close the case. Thank you. What happened was regrettable, but I'll make sure it never happens again.
They say the fiends are defeated, but I'm sticking close to the army just in case. Hey, baby, what say you and me get acquainted? I bring in the customers, and she makes sure no one gets rough. Sarah's good people. Good enough, anyway. I'm called Sweetie because I'm the sweetest piece you'll ever find anywhere outside of the Strip. I got my start at the Gomorrah. Good money, but I saw how those Omerdas hook girls on free jet or Medex, then start charging. Slavery through a needle is what that is. I earn less out here, but I keep more. It's worth every cap, baby. I'll do things to you you didn't even think was possible, and leave you feeling like everything's right in the world. Get ready, honey. I'm gonna make it good for you. They say the fiends are defeated, but I'm sticking close to the army, just in case. They say the fiends Our are defeated. Our guys put the monorail back I'm to work. Sticking close to the army, just in case. Hi again. Oh, stranger, you looking for a good time? Old but spry, honey. So long as my back don't give out, I can make a living lying on it. May not be as fresh as Sweetie or Jimmy, but pretty Sarah keeps me around for a good reason. Experience. That's right. Strange at first, having a woman for a pimp, but... She's tough enough to handle any trouble so far. She's a good earner. Of course, she don't care who she sleeps with or what they do to her. I suppose he's okay for one of those. I suppose pretty Sarah's got to cover every sort of customer. Best prices around, so long as you don't try putting anything someplace it was never intended. How's that sound? You won't notice anything once the lights are out, hon. The places that count are still firm enough. Anything new happening? Hi again. Same. Get ready, honey. I'm gonna make it good for you. They say the fiends are defeated, but I'm sticking close to the army just in case. Morning. You can just talk to the whores, you know. You and me, we don't need to talk unless there's trouble. Hi there. Welcome to the Westside Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. It might not look like much, but it's what keeps us Westside locals independent. We started it a few years ago. I admit we had a lot of trouble at first, but eventually we got some help from Tom Anderson with the followers. We're finally to the point where the co-op members can start making money from sales instead of just breaking even. Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. It used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. Seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. It might not... Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here, got it? What do you even mean? He's Dermot. Dermot knows how to work salvage better than any man I ever met. Doesn't go asking questions all day, neither. 
Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. We gotta go through this again? Fuck off. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. Me and my partner St. James work salvage around Westside, that's all. Because it's his name. He may be high strung, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. Yeah, beat it. The NCR took back Nelson. Those team just were after all three been taking some hits. I say kill them all. Oh, hello. Corporal White? I don't know where he... Uh, I mean, I never heard of him. Uh, I didn't want to get Mr. Anderson in trouble. He says the West Side needs to be able to take care of itself. Corporal White caught me taking the water and made me tell on Mr. Anderson. I think something bad happened, but... Mr. Anderson told me not to worry. I deliver things and stuff for the people here. They give me caps to do it. We don't need the NCR. Something I can do for you? Yes, what is it? You're back. Don't tell me. He married the hooker. It. That's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? Man, that guy's got water on the brain. Knows more about water pipes than any man should. If he says we're losing water, I think the colonel would listen to that. I'll talk to him about it. But you. I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. Colonel Shu sent him out. You got something to say, or do you always look like that?
Hey, you're the one who's been go- At least the local vendors are seeing it. It can be bought. It can be found at Nick and Ralph. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Good to see you. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. See? Welcome back, friend. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. House may have boxed us out of the strip, but we also don't have to deal with their bullshit. I think now that the followers are working with us, we'll be able to shape up Freeside a bit more. Bye. Shouldn't be long before the fiends are wiped out. Uh, now that their bosses are gone.
I can't believe this shit. You again? He did, huh? All right. What do you want? He should really mind his own business. Crannon's good to keep scum in check, but he ain't exactly subtle. If you're good at snooping around, then I could use you. I need to find out what my daughter's up to. She's been frequenting the square in North Vegas, probably hanging out with street scum. I want to know more about her new friends. All right, we've got a deal then. I'll make sure to compensate you for your time, if you find anything useful. Okay. I know she's been frequenting the square in North Vegas, probably hanging out with street scum. I want to know more about her new friends. Okay. Folks call this East Vegas, but I don't care much for names. The East Side gets a lot of merchant and gambler traffic. We're safer here than in North Vegas or West Side, though we've got to put up with the NCR. Don't get me started, stranger. We don't take kindly to either of them. We fought hard for our home, and we're here to stay. The Legion knows nothing of working the land. Those folks would rather pillage, burn, and steal like mad beasts. That ain't honest living. The NCRs know better. They won't burn your home and rape your daughter, sure. But they'll steal your wealth all the same, when you ain't looking. Goodbye, stranger. Good to see you around. What's eating you? Alice. Oh yeah, I've seen her around here much too often as of late. I reckon she's been hanging out with Andy and his crew. Try the gray. Beats me why people go into that forsaken thing. At least with huts and sewers, you know they ain't crumbling on top of your head. I'll see you. I can't help thinking we've not seen the last of the fiends yet. I heard all over. One of these days. Red Lucy's going to show up for death their claws. Lessons. Hey there. Hey there. Just gotta find me some sweet jet. New Vegas paradise, hey my ass. New Vegas. Paradise, my ass. Can't go anywhere else. What the fuck you want, huh? Oh yeah? What for? Maybe they don't want to talk to you. Maybe they ain't here anymore. Maybe you asked too many questions, stranger. This is our turf. Don't even try to snoop around or I'll fucking kill you right here, right now. 
What? You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. Why do I always gotta fix someone else's crap around here? Those fiend junkies over at Vault 3 have been taking some hits. I say kill them all. as a new sheriff. That should keep the power in the way. Keep an eye on your stuff. That fiend leader got what he fucking deserved. Andy's not gonna be happy. Where the hell's that crazy bitch? Can't go anywhere else. Next fucking rat I see. Gonna place me a good bet at the thorn. leader got what he fucking deserved. Howdy.
What are you looking at, huh? Answer me, or I'll get trigger happy real quick. You think I give a shit? Has it crossed your mind that Alice is all the way in this with me? Maybe because I'm so good looking. Maybe because her mother's trying to break her back, planting crops that die from rads as soon as they're in the ground. Or maybe she's just a dupe. Why do you even care? She's happy making her own way in the world. Family's just what the world throws on our shoulders without our say or opinion. You think Alice cares about her family? Tell her then. Family's what drove her to me in the first place. And how exactly would you do that? Yeah, sure. off. I know how to use this gun and I'm not afraid to shoot if you try anything. I've put up with their shit long enough. No more. I'll... I'll kill them if they get in my way. Then what the hell do you want? Don't try anything, I mean it. Okay, but this better not be a trick. What are you talking about? Andy wants to help me leave this hole, doesn't he? That, that son of a bitch. I'll take the money and I'll kill him too. I, I don't know what I want, but I hate this place and I hate these people. It all used to be so simple. Why did they change? Why can't they see my pain? Do they? Look at my mother. All she cares for is a patch of bare dirt where nothing green will ever grow to feed us. My father. A trading business that he'll never own, risking his neck every day against wastelanders and cutthroat merchants. And I'm supposed to be part of those dreams? What about my dream, stranger? What about me? It's all me, isn't it? The pain, the anger, my joy. All of that's just me. I should have met you before, stranger. Thank you. She... Alice left, didn't she? I can't believe you let her go. Some help you've been. Yes, I suppose you're right. Please, accept half of our reserve. We'll manage, somehow, as we've always done. We do need it, stranger. Still... I wish there was something we could give you in return. If you see Alice again, please, tell her we won't hold it against her. Tell Alice that we love her.
It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Howdy. Interested in... Nope. Strictly independent. Well, kind of independent. To vend anything here on the Strip, you gotta register with one of those police robots and sign a franchisee agreement. At the end of each day, you keep half of what you made. The rest you hand over to those bots. And they know if you're cheating. Yep, he makes the rules. It's steep, but it sure beats living in North Vegas. Here on the Strip, I can afford to eat. And no one tries to kill me. Non-alcoholic beverages and snack foods. The casinos get to sell booze. No one else does. It's the most amazing place in the world, don't you think? This must be what it was like to live a thousand years ago. There are three casinos open for business. Gamora, the Tops, and the Ultralux. They get nicer in that order. This here's the monorail station leading in from Camp McCarran. Most of my business is with soldiers coming and going on furlough. Take your pick. Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid, and I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. Scoundrels like Heck. There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. We're honest folk out there. Damn hard to make the living in the desert, kid. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering. So I'm just gonna make him suffer. That's what I'm gonna do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just gotta find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon. If you don't mind, I have... He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a bighorn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see, 
We're the only ones in pain. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Uh huh. Dad used to say this place was what Reno tried to be. <laughs> Fucking Reno. Beats being on patrol. Come on, time to get lucky. Self control is a virtue. Almost out of caps. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Carlitos, huh? Yeah, I do. Try the diner. But don't start any trouble, you hear? Good to see you again. I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Yeah, sure. Okay, I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage vault toy car? Or... Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Thinking about that just blows my top. Really? Well, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Ha ha ha. Okay, why don't you help me out? And in the meantime, I'll think about where to take advantage of your skills. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Hey, Scram, come bug me when I'm at the diner, if you're a real pain in the ass. What did you say? I mean, Joanna sent you. 
Please, tell me, is she all right? When did you see her? What does she have to say? Then she has to know. I'm ready to help her escape once and for all. Am I even scared of Kachino and all those fuckers? Joanna and I are dead anyway if we don't get the hell out of here. What, you think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? Besides, I step in Gamora and I'm as good as dead, you hear? You don't just leave the Emeritus unless it's in a body bag. Questions can wait, Joanna can't. Deal. Come back with news soon, you hear? Till next round. Later, uh, whoever you are. Uh-huh. You turned around? I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. <laughs> That's great to hear. Really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although here I go by my artistic name, Michelangelo. So what brings you here? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. That's how I ended up in this place. I feel haunted by something terrible. 
Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Ah, an educated fellow. Now that is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know, I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. There's an opportunity for profit anywhere, huh? Even if it means preying on the helpless. Okay, you shuckster. 150 caps each if they're good. I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. The McCarran Airfield and the Helios One Power Station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Thank you. I really can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank you. Back again? An experienced smuggler could get a machine gun or pistol in. You? Sure. but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gomorrah. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. Tops is a real snooze fest. I hope they get some new shows soon. What do you need? Bye.
Should have bet we... Gamora has the loosest slots on the strip. Hey there, gorgeous. I knew you'd be back soon enough. What? Have you seen him? Have you talked to him? I... Look, we can't talk here. If you think you can help me, follow me to my room, please. Follow me, hun. Bitter Springs. A name like that could have only brought bad luck. Hey, what's up? Yes? It does? Wait, this changes everything. I can't leave my girls here. And where would we go even if we escape? No, it's too risky. We'll all end up dead. You sound so sure. Damn it all. You better not make me regret this later. But the Omertas will want us dead. What are we going to do about that? To be free, and with Carlitos again. Tell him that I still... I... Never mind. Let Carlitos know that we'll be ready when you are. Thank you so much for your help. Damn, do I love this place. Careful if we go off the road. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy up there in the Lucky 38. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Hey there. Bosses don't like no trouble in the Welcome to Gamora. How can have their place? I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. I tell you, last night some girl was pounding on my door all night.
Hey, it's you. What's the news? Hey, that's great. What's going on? She is? Listen, no time to waste. Help her get to Freeside. That's our ticket out of this fucking city. I'll meet you there between midnight and dawn. We could use some backup. We only got one chance to get this right, you hear? These guys in Freeside, good shots, right? They owe me big time. Tell them that Carlitos is back to collect his chips. They'll know what to do. She'll have to go disguised. Gamora's packed around midnight, and the bouncers won't notice just another patron leaving the joint. I'll be near the entrance, but I need to keep out of sight. The Emeritus have contacts, and they're still looking for me. All right, see you soon. Sir or Matt. Looking for a fix, man? Whoa! Hey, you're the one who's been going around. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph. the local vendors are seeing more business with these wealthy NC. Good to see you. You already your shit. Hello again. You again. What do you want? One of the family Well, hello, pretty lady. Just talk to Big. Let me guess. You want to know my secret? How I got my beard to grow in so thick? 
Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Trade secret. Depends on why you're asking. I see. Well, he can count on Little Beard and me for an assist. Tell us where and when, and we'll be there. Let's just say it had something to do with the beards, and leave it at that. The beards will be there. Big beard next to me, pal. Whoever's got the biggest whiskers does the talking. No one but Omer. You'll get these. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Some of the hottest asses in New Vegas shaking out there. guys put the monorail back to work. I hope my dad doesn't find out how much money those hookers cost me. Welcome back to Gamora. Find yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. Your family. You know you want a piece of this. Give me some sugar. I got kicked out of Ultralux the other day. Man, that place gives me the fucking freaks. This place smells like booze and sex. That's why I always come back.
Hey, what's up? Yet? Okay, I got clothes I can use for that. When you give the word, I'll let the other girls know and we'll meet you at the lobby. Hey, what's up? It's not a good time right now, hon. It's gotta... Hey, what's up? I'm ready. Just give the word and we'll meet you at the lobby in an hour. Okay. See you soon. Bitter Springs. A name like that could have only brought bad luck. and welcome We're ready. Let's get out of here. Come on, people are looking at We're ready. Let's get the hell out of here before they recognize us. It's now or never. Let's go. Come to get fleeced like a big horner? You've made it. Thanks so much for your help. I owe you more than... Wait, what's that? Well, well, well. If it isn't our whore Joanna. And I don't believe this. Carlitos. We had you and the whore clock from the start. But we thought Carlitos would be long gone by now. He should have fled with the caps he stole from the family. We Omeritas don't forget. And now's time to pay for your offenses.
surrender. You don't seriously think that you can take on my crew, do you? They're not... are they? Okay, I'll deal with them later, after I deal with you by myself. I... I've got to make sure our boss hears about this. Otherwise, you'd be dead. I don't know how we pulled this off. For a minute there, I thought we were not going to make it. Without you, we'd have been in the losing end. Thank you so much for your help, friend. I take care of my debts. How can I repay you, friend? Really? You're one of a kind. Okay, friend. I hope to see you again. Far away from this place. You truly are something else. Those Omeritas look like they were going to kill Carlitos on the spot. I have nothing to give you except my thanks. And, well, if I were you, I'd not mess around with the Omeritas anymore. But listen to this. Kachino has said things that make me think there's a big and nasty operation in the works. Something about getting even with Mr. House. Just thought you'd like to know. Okay. I'm getting Carlitos as far away from here as possible. Hope to see you again. Bye. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Come back soon now. Where to, partner? Penthouse floor. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them, but these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar. 
Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Why, Sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Anything you like, sugar? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Be advised. The Lucky 38 is not open to the general public. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough, a superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny-ante dreams of high living, to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? What did you wish to know? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. 
What else did you want to know? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Frontal assaults on casinos, not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars, not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it, and when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. What else did you want to know? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries a vast computer and robotics corporation. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless. But I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. 
Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. What else did you want to know? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the Platinum Chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Until then. instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go.
Let's hit the road. I thought nobody has ever been I've inside that you. place. That one must be important around here. What's up? Check that out. He just left a lucky 38. Damn. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great officers that are Dancing embassy. makes me sweat. I All like what I see. I heard Motor Runner got taken down. Maybe the fiends will finally destroy themselves now that he's gone. 